Today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual just because I'm sharing with you an extract of a saxophone coaching call that I did with some of my students a few days ago. They are enrolled in my online program called Effortless Ambusher to Master Your Sound and this saxophone coaching call is part of the course, is part of the program. And I thought of sharing this with you because we talked about a really cool topic that I'm pretty sure is going to be beneficial and, and really important for you which is how to transition into B and low B flat. You know, getting those notes are really annoying usually. So we talked about so much about breathing and a lot of tips that will be super beneficial for you, I hope, okay? So that's it, without any further ado, just go, let's jump into the video and I'll see you soon guys. Subscribe if you want to and uh, shoot me comments down below, you know? Have a great day, bye. Is the transition between high notes to low notes is essentially the transition into the low notes, into the low B and into the low B flat, which are annoying notes. Just okay, start with this. Low B and low B flat are just hard notes. <laughs> Boom! Full stop for everyone. Okay? Okay, you don't have a saxophone player in the world who will say, yeah. Low B and low B flat, they're super easy, okay? They become easier, you know, as as you progress, but they're never reliable as a normal, I don't know, as a normal B, okay? And you need you need more physical effort. You, meet, you need to do more with your body, okay? So the transition into the low B and low B flat um, will be will be direct, di can you say directly proportional to how you are playing the previous notes, okay? Essentially, um, you want to have a very, very, um, very, very straight air and a great amount of consistency and great amount of engagement from your muscles and i talk about this <laughs> yeah. about here you know and most importantly i'm just showing you my my sweater here <laughs> you know my belly most importantly the lower part of your abdominal parts of, 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 uh, of your abs okay this is my my belt you want to think down here you know you want to think pushing from down here. Don't think pushing from here. This is my sternum, okay? This is my ass, this is my belly button, okay? I'm not thinking, I'm not pushing from here, I'm thinking down here, okay? If you bring your awareness, if you bring your mindset to where your belt is, you know, almost pubic bone we're talking about, super, super low, okay? Then what happens? Your air is gonna support, it's gonna support the melody, it's gonna support the notes, and then getting down there on B and, and low B, low B and low B flat, it's just gonna be easier. Okay, um, Bonnie, let me know if if this makes sense at all. Okay, so but maybe before going to low B and low B flat, you can train this type of awareness thing by just playing normal D, low D, and low C, okay? So, um, check it out. I'm gonna play B to C, okay? And I'm gonna concentrate down here, okay? And I'm gonna try to have a nice <clears throat> and vibrant and big and rich and powerful C as much as I can. You know, remember, I haven't played for a week and a half. It was super bad. Okay, so my sound is gonna be shit. Okay, but I'll try. See, there was a little bit of gap in there, so the connection wasn't working. That was a little better. Okay, uh, I don't even know 
if you can tell um, the quality of my sound, but it's really hard, you know, especially if you stop for a while, you know, haven't played seriously for a week and a half. Everything feels new, everything feels bad, <laughs> okay? So, uh, one thing that, Bonnie, you can think about it, everyone you can think about, is this. Um, I like to think about this image about um, being an astronaut walking in the moon, you know? You know, the moon has a little bit of gravity, but not as much as here. So when uh, when astronauts walk, they go like this. Right? So when I play, when I perform a lot, but when I play and practice, this is not like a second nature thing to me that, that happens, but I like to be bouncy, you know? I like to be very not stiff as much as possible. So first thing, I like to, I cannot show you, but I like to unlock my knees. Um, okay? I'm bouncy. I'm not locking my knees like this. You know, if you lock your knees, there's going to be some kind of tension in your knees, which is going to be reflected in your whole body and in the sound. Okay, so firstly, be, you know, unlock your knees. Okay, and then when you play, you know, Try to be like that astronaut, bouncy, you know? The saxophone and your body are one thing. It's not that just like one thing here, one here, one thing here. No, 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 no. Everything is connected. We all connect it like this, okay? So um, you can do a lot with your body to help the note to come out, especially the low notes, okay? So, check it out. I'm going to go from low D to low C, and I'm going to be accompanying, I'm going to be helping the notes with this, okay? come down on the C, on the B, you know, sometimes I don't even think about it. Now, I'm doing it on purpose because I'm showing you, but, okay, um, so, let me see, Bonnie, that's what you can, that, this is what you can do, you know, and then, um, train these things one note at a time, especially down there, C, C sharp, C sharp to B, B to B flat, okay? And don't get into the, how can we say? Don't get into the danger, <laughs> kind of danger of doing this from the pure technical side aspect, okay? Because you can go crazy and, and get really bored, okay? These things, practice them if you have them on a piece. If you have a piece that goes C to B, low C to B, then practice it, okay? But don't just spend hours trying to go like da da di da da di di da da di di It doesn't make sense. You're just wasting time, okay? I think it's just way better if you have a piece that goes like do 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 all down here, you know? And go like, oh my god, okay, I really need to work on this because it, it's it's in the piece okay i would i would do that okay it makes more That's sense great you gotta get more more and then um, it'll be more fun <laughs> okay perfect awesome bonnie perfect. really really Thank cool you. Question. i loved it thank you so that's all guys. I hope you enjoyed the class and I hope that those tips actually made some sense. I wish you good luck with low B and low B flat, but remember, don't be too hard on yourself. Those are hard notes, okay? Give it time and just breathe properly and 
have a lot of air support okay um shoot me comments down below if you have any questions on lobby lobby flat or anything else on saxophone uh don't forget to download a pdf here below where there's more saxophone tips on how to improve your playing and i wish you a good day subscribe hit a like or a dislike and see you soon bye